My people, welcome back to Beholder 2. Um, last time I played this game, I wasn't feeling too well, and the commentary was a bit bad. Uh, I wanted to make a video for you guys, and didn't want to leave you guys hanging in the air. So I tried my best, but sadly, uh, I wasn't feeling it. I apologize for that. But today's a new day, and um, we're going to get right into it. I believe this is my save. So... Here we are, it's my first day on the job, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, start my day. I'm not getting any more help from George, no assistance whatsoever. Little girl, I'll talk to her. Hi mister, get acquainted. Where are your parents, little girl? What's your name, are you lost? No, my mom works in the ministry and I wait for her here after school. When she finishes her work, we'll go home. Oh. My name is Anka, what's yours? I'm Evan. Um... Why don't you go home? It's boring, the radio keeps saying blah blah blah, war this, war that, so I figured I'd train beetles to keep myself busy. I found them in the bushes, a whole bunch, though mom won't let me bring them inside. She says the building manager will get mad. Hmm. Ask why she's not going home. Talk about talking to strangers. Ask why she's not going home. Why don't you go home? It's bo- Oh god, I'm sorry. I just said that. Okay. Ask about talking to- Yeah. Didn't your mom tell you not to talk to strangers? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's all she had to say. <laughs> so how come you're talking to me? Don't you remember? I told you, my name is Anke, so we're not strangers. Hey, you know what? Fair point. She won the argument. I'm gonna just back up and head on my way. Alright, Anke, you smart little girl. Let's see what this people are talking about. Can I see? Okay, no, I can't. Never mind. Alright, uh, what do I have to do? Redgrave's Legacy. Get Father's Letter from Hemnitz. Oh, I have to do that today after work, I believe. And does it have pictures? Get Hack Any Terminal. Uh, man, first day on the job and you're already going places that you're not supposed to. I could talk to the guard. What do you want? Uh, general chat. You mind if I stand here a little? When you sit alone all day, you just want to chat with someone. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, wow, this guy talks about a lot of stuff. We'll talk about his physical shape. How do you manage to stay in such great physical shape? He's fat! Oh, okay. Regular exercise with a baton in the open air. That's all? Yup. Okay, uh, that's, that's cool. Uh, this guy seems like he just doesn't want to talk. How do you like the weather this week? What? Nice weather for ducks, eh? Let it rain. Man, this is a depressing life. Talk about family. Do you have a family? No. And there never was? Was. And now? Now? No. <laughs> this guard just, like, shuts me down at every turn I try to make. What does your job involve? I come in on time, issue fines, go home. That's all? I also break bones. <laughs> Sounds like the dream job, yes, he's right. Yup. You're on duty all day, you mustn't have a lot of time to eat. Food is a problem. And how do you solve it? I don't eat. At all? Sometimes I find more wits for pies, or confiscate them. Aren't you afraid of getting food poisoning? I'm not afraid of anything. I saw shit when I was at the front, I ate shit, I was shit, I'm safe now. All right. Honestly, I just asked for no reason. I don't care. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. That guy, uh, yep. He's seen some shit, and I'm just gonna leave him alone. Oh, no. Please don't go off. I didn't do anything bad. Oh, thank you. I can't talk to anybody. Uh, what's going on? Cutscene time? Oh, 
I'm just gonna say right now it's Stalin. Dear compa compatriots and friends, we have all gathered here today, hand in hand, shoulder to shoulder, for a very special occasion. We are here to reward someone. Our country is big, unique, and beautiful. We are united by common concerns and common pleasures. We are also united by our long-standing tradition of rewarding the worthy among us and wishing them the very best. And today, that worthy individual is your colleague, Comrade Hemnitz. Oh, I think I... wait. It is vitally important that we believe in ourselves, in our own strength, and in our country. We work, and in doing so, we achieve many great things. I would sincerely like to thank you, dear friends, for all your victories and achievements, your understanding and trust, and your genuine, heartfelt concern for our great state. Okay, good for him. Today, every one of us can become a little better. To achieve this, all we need to do... Oh, oh my god, what? What the hell? Why? Oh my god. To achieve this, all we need to do is treat our parents with love and gratitude. Give our children family, children and family the attention they, and care they deserve. Respect our colleagues, cherish our friends, defend truth and justice, be merciful and help those in need of support. But most importantly, we must never betray the cause of our great nation. After all, each of us is rewarded according to their deeds. All hail our great state. Peace and prosperity to our great motherland. Motherland? Yeah, I'm telling you. I wish you happiness, health, and prosperity. Hurrah! Yep, this is the Soviet Union. Why did they do that? Why did they kill him? Hemnitz was hanged right in front of me. I have to ask someone what's going on here. Magda Rakovich is bound to know something. You are asking the wrong person, are you crazy? And I told him, with that kind of authority, I'd rather date a courier. Courier? And what did he say? He went off to earn some money. Joined one of those punishment squads. Those are, what do you call them? You know, spy hunters? You're such a heartless... <laughs> I know my worth. Casual conversations, everybody. Vending machine. Might as well get some soda from there. I'm dehydrated, I assume. The PCBM42 provisions machine welcomes you. The feedback about the machine. Uh, I'm gonna leave uh, amazing feedback. I love it. You chose leaf positive feedback. Thank you for your feedback. The Ministry of Scientific Research loves you. Sure you do. Hi, my name's Evan. I'm new. New, eh? I'm Serena Marwitz. Well, here's my advice, newbie. If you don't want to lose your mind and your life, keep away from the vending machine. Step back and think I'm gonna bomb it! So, we'll just go straight to Rakovich right now and ask her, like... Get in line and wait, young man. Um... Another time. Okay, no, no, no. I thought you were gonna go over her. Yes, okay. Fine, I'll wait. Well, that took a whole minute. Watch it be worthless. Watch this whole time be worthless. Uh, talk about Hemnitz. Hemnitz has been executed. You've come here to just tell me what everybody already knows? You're the only one I know in the whole ministry. All you need to know is who you answer to and where your workplace is. His death only makes my job harder. Why is there an increase in your workload? Hemnitz is dead, meaning that he can't do his job and therefore must be fired. When an employee is fired, they have to hand over their official stamp and any secret documents they may have. They also have to sign the safety journal and provide a form saying that they have no books from the ministry libraries in their possession. But most importantly, he did not hand over his pass. The security service must have his things. Go to the guard at the checkpoint and tell him I sent you. He'll give you Hemnitz's things. 
take this map of the ministry. Without it, you'll be wandering the halls until the end of time. What do you want? Uh, ooh, I can compliment her. We'll do that. Magda, you look wonderful. Save your compliments for fools like Emma Hazer. They have no effect on me. I didn't mean anything bad. But nothing good will come out of it either. Lost and found. Am I allowed to do this? Please. Okay, 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 okay. This is where we keep employees lost and found stuff. Why are you searching this place? Magda Rakovic sent me. I came to get Hemnitz's belongings. Take what's left. Left? Has someone already been here? Colleague. Took some box and left. What colleague? None of my business. Oh, this is not good. Alright, Hemnitz's pass. He didn't get the chance to return it. And letter. That's fine. I Here's father's letter. I suppose I could have opened it a little more carefully, but to hell with the envelope. I need to know what's in there right now. No, 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 you don't. We're gonna go and bring back the stuff. Hold on. What? Biometric safe. Listen, I'm not opening anything in front of everybody just yet. I don't want to get caught. Uh, can I talk to him? Hold on. Let me see if he has anything new to say. What? No, 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 no. I'm not interested. Yeah, goodbye. Let's just go straight to... Oh. Oh, I can read this. I'm sorry. Let's read it then. Dear son, if you are reading this, I must already be dead. Forgive me for pushing you away for the fact that we haven't been as close as the last few years that, as we used to be. You may not believe me, but this was my own unusual way of trying to protect you. Even my death serves of purpose, to protect my son. I don't know who else might read this letter, so I cannot risk telling you everything. Therefore, I have left everything important in special boxes throughout the ministry. Only you can open them. The locks are coded to your biometrics. I hope you manage to put it all together and make the right decision in the end. You should receive the first box along with this letter. You have to find the rest yourself, and most importantly, don't trust anyone, Evan. I wish I could bequeath you something more pleasant. Good luck, and I love you, son. Ooh, man, that hurts. So this is a biometric safe, which I assume... Information gathered. 1 out of 21. Received... Heimdall codes? I need to learn how to say that word, by the way. Heim Heimdall? Heimdall? Whatever. I found some codes. Good to know. Alright, we have to go take care of that, and then I have to make money because I've remembered that I have to pay the bills when I get home. Ask colleagues about the biometric safe. Should I really ask anybody about that? Because I don't think that's a good idea. I'm not trying to, uh... Oh god. I'm not trying to get caught and then possibly get killed just like George. Poor George. Stranger. Hello. My name is Evan. I'm new here. Nicholas Page, Nicholas Page the Courier. Ask about Hemnitz's belongings. Have you taken any of Hemnitz's belongings? No. You know where I could buy some useful things? You can buy some things from me, but I don't do business with folk I don't trust. 350? Wow, to trade something? Jeez, screw that. Here we are, Rakovic. What's up? No, what? Uh, hand over Hemnitz's pass. I brought you Hemnitz's pass. Give it to me. Now I can finally fire him. It's good that he didn't have any library books. They're very strict about that. Now his promotion allotment is open. His promotion allotment? He was to be transferred to another floor, and now the position is vacant. Every idiot in here is going to be fighting for it. Now Hemnitz's personal file is ready to be transferred to the archive. But... But... But the courier hasn't brought me all the documents I need for the archive. Yet again, he doesn't care, and we're the ones who will be rewarded, rewarded sorry, for losing documents that contain state secrets. Look around in the carts by the workplaces. If you find the documents, bring them to me. What are you doing here? Goodbye. 
Listen, Rakovic, who am I to you? I'm a, I'm a worker. I need to go and make money besides doing all your chores. This is none of my business, as a matter of fact. At least I don't think it is. Well, nothing in there. There goes a waste of... Oh my... Hello? Yes, hello. <laughs> hello. I haven't... Ha Why haven't I seen you here before? I'm new here. My name is Evan. Emma Hazer. Oh, well then. Emma Hazer. Let's start some general chat. Maybe she knows something about Hemnitz. What happened to Hemnitz? I can't talk about that. Sorry. Oh, man. I really need this authority stuff. I don't know how to get them besides praising a statue. <laughs> Ask about the ministry. So how is it working for the ministry? I've only been working here for half a year. I prepare documents, write reports, collect statistics. I see. Edit orders, file correspondence, issue travel allowances, send packages, receive packages, distribute packages. Emma, I get it. <laughs> yes, I do. And that's not to mention the visitors. They just won't stop coming. And I do some other stuff. Wow. What can I do? I need the money. To be honest, by the end of the day, I'm ready to collapse. Maybe I can find a husband here and finally give up this grind. Emma! <laughs> okay, I'll stop. <laughs> Ask about favorite TV show. The Passion of the Leader. Of course. Flirt. Uh, I'm a married man and I have a child, so let's not do that. Um, that's unrighteous. So, let's talk about Hemnitz. What happened to Hemnitz? I can't talk. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I forgot about... Uh, I already asked. Uh, I already asked that. Okay. So, the last thing I could do is flirt. And, honestly, I am a married man, like I said before. So, I'm not going to flirt. Ask about Hemnitz's belongings. Actually, wait. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe I could flirt to use her in my advantage? Just like Rakovic said, save it for Emma. She'll go head over heels over flirting, I assume. Which means if I get on her good side, I can ask her for things. We're gonna flirt, but in a more professional manner. <laughs> so let's see. Any? Oh, wow, okay, Evan, I see you. Okay, Evan, any plans for tonight? The usual, finish some paperwork, watch TV, and go to bed. Does a pretty girl like you really have nothing more fun to do after work? Is it really just more work and TV? This pretty girl would love to do something fun in the, if the company is good. Any suggestions? Okay. Oh boy. Uh, kind of in a tight spot. Well, hey, we can invite her. Keep it casual, distance ourselves, and just get some good information from her. Because I have no authority points to be doing that. Let's see what we can do. I don't know about after work, but as for now... What are you talking about? I'm still new to the city. I'm all alone. I have no one. No one to hold me to keep me warm. Evan, 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 keep it. Keep it cool. What are you getting at? Oh, what's this? <laughs> Hop into the storeroom with me and I'll show you? You're a cocky one, Redgrave. I thought you were married. What makes you think I'd go in there with you? We're adults, we're free to do what we like, so why not- No, no, no! Lie about feelings, offer money- Oh no, no, uh-uh, mm-mm, nope. Nope. Have a nice day, besides, have a nice day. <laughs> Bye. No, Emma. I mean, Emma, sorry, Re e Evan. What are you doing? Biometric safe. Evan, you are one cocky, unfaithful piece of garbage, Evan. I, I, I didn't expect you to go there, so that's very upsetting. The header says it's from the archive. You should give it to someone. Found it, but before I do that, let's go to work. I need to make some money. Wow, Evan. Alright, let's do this. Whew. Hopefully I get this right. I don't know what to do. You're my last hope. Tell me what happened. My daughter's Lada was hit by a car. She needs a kidney transplant. She's number 176 on the waiting list. My little girl is dying and we have no money to move her up the list. Would you like to apply for medical assistance? 
my Yes, I'm begging you. If my little girl dies, it'll be the end of me. Oh boy. Uh let me let me take a look at these again. Let me remove this. The visitor wants to use his or her right to receive benefits. Okay, so it's a request of um social social care? Controls the lives of citizens from birth to death. Uh patriotism. Responsible public events, work or labor, work of scientific centers. Hmm. I assume social care. I assume. Darn it! Wrong office. Wait a minute. How should I know which office? That's weird. I'm here to submit the new posters for the theatrical production of We're the Happiest. Don't believe the traitors for censorship. Who do I give them to? Uh, I have no idea, man. I really don't. Wait, information? The visitor has brought information or documents necessary to the ministry or wants to express their gratitude. I assume information for culture and sports. How do I know, like... Whoa! I got it completely right. So how do I know which... Oh, I see the numbers! They're open on these days! Oh, this is... I understand. I use my shoe voucher at store number three. The shoes I have bought have a quality stamp on the soles featuring the state of coat of arms. Who thought to put a sacred symbol on such a place? People are trampling o over our coat of arms. The saboteurs must be found and punished. You're absolutely right, sir. Uh, complaint of patriotism and... Which office? 279. Today's what? Wait, today's... Today's what? God damn it. Who, today, what's the... Oh, Tuesday. Jesus. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, 279 Tuesday. Perfect. Print. I'm getting good at this, guys. I think I got this in the box. Oh, yes. Hi. I need Professor Danik's home address. We don't give out that kind of information to unauthorized individuals. I'm not unauthorized. I am Professor Zdanik. I get a bit forgetful sometimes, and I can't seem to remember where I live. And how can I help you? I'd like the Ministry of Social Care to provide me with a note of my address. I'll put it in my passport right next to my residence permit and housing information. That way, I'll never lose it. Okay... Um, I'd like the Ministry of Social Care. I assume order. <laughs> Stranger. What a lovely day for work. Hello. Who the hell are you? I haven't seen you here before. Guards, intrude alert. Easy, fella. My name is Evan Redgrave. I'm new here, just started. Oh, I heard they hired some new guy. I'm Peter Dong. I'm out of here. My Magnum doll. <laughs> what do you want from me? Well, what do you want? Um, have you taken any of Hemnitz's belongings? No. What do you want? Ask about Hemnitz. Poor Hemnitz. I only met him yesterday, and now this? He seemed like a good guy. But he broke the law. So I heard. How could I not have seen him from the criminal he was? He outsmarted us all. What do you mean? He always seemed so polite, so neat, never argued with anyone, went to all the meetings, voted the right way. Although now I see why he protected me from Legrand. Why? He wanted to gain my trust and learn important secrets from me. So you know important secrets? That's none of your business. Thanks, dude, you're great. Uh, talk about father? Did you know my father? No, I only know what happened to him. Surely you know more. You can tell me anything. Everyone at the office is just dying to know the details. There's nothing to tell. We didn't talk much. Yeah, we'll just say that. A shame. I heard that your father was a well-respected figure of the within the ministry. Now I understand why you're stuck in this waiting room with the rest of us. You didn't get a chance to write his coattails did you shut up Peter hey you asked so much for trying to have a heart-to-heart -heart. I would kick his ass I'll stop <laughs> okay uh, yeah let's just leave this guy alone 
Yes, nothing. Get out of here. You're a dick. Let's just go home. And hopefully, I can return those papers tomorrow and not get beaten up for it. What am I doing? James, I saw a terrible ritual. Any em an employee was hanged right in front of everyone. How could they do that? Par for the core, Seven. Punishments are clearly stated in Clause 12 of the Ministry Job Referral. Important positions entail elevated levels of responsibility or something like that. But it's savage and barbaric. Everyone was clapping. Did you think your job was going to be a walk in the park? It's a nest of vipers, Evan. And you must become the goddamn king of the vipers if you want to get promoted. Let's start with your immediate superior, Pete Ferguson. He is a pathetic man who loves only money. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Pete knows whose son you are. Everyone does. So he'll be careful. You'll need to gain his trust if you want to get him to slip up. Gather some information about him. Squeeze it out of him. Talk to colleagues. Fulfill a few of his requests if your conscience allows you to, of course. We need some dirt on that arrogant son of a bitch. But don't forget that Ferguson is just the first step. He's not that important. Your main goal is to rise through the ranks. You're working on the first floor at the moment. You'll have to make your way up higher. So either build up your authority, run, ruin your boss, or get rid of colleagues who pose you any competition. Oh boy. There's a standard procedure. You get promoted when you earn enough authority. Use the work phone to find out how much you need. I can't help you with much authority. You have to work, strengthen the minute three... Oh my god, I can't talk! I can't help you with much authority. You have to work, strengthen the ministry's power and the leader's glory. Get colleagues out of your way or befriend them. Ask about colleagues. Your colleagues are your competitors. Make them- oh. Make them not be your competitors, I understand. So you're saying I should plot against my colleagues, sneak around, frame them, blackmail them, drive them to suicide. So you're saying that all's fair in war? Is there any other way? If you find another way, go for it. Ask them to withdraw, arrange a transfer, or another department, or wear them down. It makes no difference to me. I'm only interested in the result, the victory. And I care about what kind of person I'll be after such a victory. You always have a choice, Evan. You know what? James ain't wrong. You always have a choice, Evan. If I was you, I'd probably do that as well. I'd care about my personality and who I'll become after... What? Oh my god. Water payment? A hundred. Sanitation payment? A hundred. Collection to help the national soccer team. I have to... Oh! I'm gonna die, you guys. Okay, let's... 450 coins. I'm not paying for anything. I have three... This one's due in five days. Okay. Let's do these. Hopefully, I don't forget. And we'll leave it at that for now. Because that one's due in five days. Those were due in three. So let's see. Let's watch some TV. Watch. Already watched. I am not about to buy... A TV show for 150 coins. Did you see my bills? Did you see my bills? Okay. <laughs> uh, guess we're gonna go to bed? Maybe? No, let's see what else we can do before we go to bed. Hold on. There we go. Let's see. I can't eat anything. I can only watch TV and check out my desk. Where's my wife? Where's my, where's my kid you were talking about? Well, where's your kid? Sorry. Wait, I can check the bookcase. Oh, read a book. Already read, already read. Oh, I've read everything. Alright, time to go to bed then. But, before we go to bed, I'm gonna have to cut it off. <laughs> this is all the time I have for this episode. But, thank you guys very much for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. Once again, I do apologize for yesterday's uh, commentary. It was kind of dead. Uh, I wasn't feeling too well and I wanted to make a video for you guys. So, I do apologize for that. But, I really appreciate you guys sticking around and watching my content. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and a comment. It is always appreciated. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.